Welcome back to the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> four. Episode four. Four. Holy shit. That's kind of a lot of episodes. <gasps> feels like we've been doing this for years. Although, it feels like we've done it once. Hey, don't hiss on my podcast, cat. Oh, <laughs> that cat just came and hissed at us. No, she hissed at Kerner. But she hissed at us. Kerner. Okay. <laughs> so, we don't know what we're doing at today's podcast. No. We've been thinking, like, what should we talk about today? We are like, let's think about it overnight. <laughs> yeah, we didn't. Well, it's not that we didn't, because I really did think of some stuff, but... I don't know what to talk about today. No, I don't either. So Which I think we I should think just talk. We should just be organic. Organic. I love organic grapes. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what the fuck I tried today. What? Guess what the fuck I tried today. What? Okay, so I did scanning last week. I work at a grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> and when I printed out the paperwork for, like, the liquor, um... For what? Wednesday corrections. Okay. <laughs> we had cotton candy grapes. Wedcore. Wednesday corrections. Wedcore is what it's called. Wednesday corrections. It's small. Wedcore. It's Wednesday. W e d. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, is it, am I saying it right? Yeah, wedcore. I just called it that. I know. <laughs> I Wednesday corrections. It. Anyways, um, I printed it out and I saw that we had cotton candy grapes and the price changed. Cotton candy. Grapes. Cotton candy grapes. And I saw that we had them and I'd heard someone talk about them before. So instantly, I didn't care about the price. I didn't care about what my actual job was. I was like, where are these grapes? And I ran to produce <laughs> to find <laughs> the grapes. And I, Gary, the produce man, had already left, so I couldn't ask him if we had any because I couldn't find any, but I was like, maybe we have some in the back, or maybe we're going to get some. Sad story. Didn't get any. Today, I go in. Fucking Cheryl. I love Cheryl. Cheryl is like an old lady at my work who's gone. She's amazing. She's amazing. I see her get in line. What the fuck she have? Fucking cotton, cotton candy, candy grapes. grapes. And her son was with it. Greg. So I was like, Grigio, those cotton candy grapes? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, <gasps> do they taste? I was on a register. I was checking someone out. And I was like, do they taste like cotton candy? And he was like, yeah, you want to try one? And I was like, do they legit taste like cotton candy? It tastes like fucking cotton candy. Grapes? Are they called cotton candy grapes? Cotton candy grapes. They're in a pink package. Did you buy them? They're organic. Organic. They're, how is a cotton candy grape organic? A grape that's been injected with semen to make it taste like cotton candy? Semen. S- serum. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's organic. Anyways. So. Wait. Are, do, are, they, are they purple? They're green. What kind of cotton candy? Like the bubblegum cotton candy? Pink. Pink cotton candy. Tastes like pink cotton candy. That's so weird. It's really good. I want to try some, though. Should we go buy some? Yeah. We go to Food Line. Fuck this. No. <laughs> Peace out, podcast. So. That's weird. I know. Interesting way to start off the podcast. I'm sorry. <laughs> Me and Zoe have been into mythological creatures, a.k.a. mermaids, lately. Um, yeah. That's all I want to talk about. I know. That's all I want to talk about, too. I'll actually, all actually... Actually, I want to talk about Pirates of the Caribbean. <gasps> the clip that we just watched. Yeah. <laughs> I've been craving to watch some sort of series or read a series. Mm-hmm. I need something like that. Like I need some sort of story to get wrapped up into right now. Like a mythical series. Yeah. If even I'm not good at I can't read fantasy. That's the only except thing. you said you okay the movies you wanted to watch were you said what like Harry Potter, Twilight, Narnia, or Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, that's it. So those are all mythical. They're all fantasy. So you want to watch? But I want to read one. I want to read a series. Read Harry Potter. I can't get. I, I I've tried reading Harry Potter. I can't get into it. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Read Twilight. Maybe I'll read Twilight. Twilight but I'm reading good. other books right now. I'm reading Grass. This book called Grasshopper Jungle. Um, I thought it was about an apocalypse, like the apocalypse of grasshoppers. Oh, it's not? I don't know yet. It doesn't uh, seem like it's going to be. I think they just made it sound like that. You know what I mean? So I'm like, not. I haven't gotten into it enough yet. They like tricked you to read it? No, no, no. I okay. just think it, it's like a metaphor for something else. What book should I start reading next? Will Grayson, Will Grayson. You know, he has another book coming out. 
What? John Green. He has another book. Did he write Will Grayson? Will Grayson? Yeah. Didn't know that. <laughs> really? No. Yeah, John Green wrote, who wrote The Fault in Our Stars, right? Yeah. Will Grayson, Will Grayson, he wrote Looking for Alaska. He wrote 19 Captains in... Oh my god. Wallace. <laughs> I see her tail when oh I said her name. My. Wallace. There's a cat over there. Who looks like a um, praying mantis. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> she looks exactly like a praying mantis. Wallace. Why do you, what, what is it about your house and the cats that are in it grow so slowly? Huh. Oh. <coughs> <laughs> what should I read? <laughs> we Were Liars? Oh. Or Will Grace Will Grace? Read We Were Liars first. Give it to me. Okay, it's in my house. Okay, We Were Liars is this amazing book. It's like your favorite, isn't it? It's like top three favorite books. It's Shit. so good. I, I don't want to hype it up, though, because it's really, like, there was something about the time that I read it. It was, like, the perfect timing in my life at that time, and it was just, like, it created this era in my life, mm. and when a book creates an era for you, mm-hmm. like, that's something. Like, usually for, like, a song will create an era for mm-hmm. me, like, oh, I'm, like, and I go back and listen to that song, and I'm, like, oh, my God, this reminds me of this time in my life or, or like whatever, but this book... When I went That's back crazy. and when I went back and read it, I was like, "This make this feels like junior year." I've never had that with a book. Oh my god! <laughs> we were liars is so. I've fucking never had that. Good, with a book. you've got to read it. <clears throat> okay, now I have to read it. It just feels so good, and the visuals. It's on this island. Oh my god! You should read it right now for your. Okay, I'll read it during the podcast. You can talk to them. Okay. You can read it for my what? The sun just went down. What? You can read it for my what? It's just good inspiration right now. Oh, okay, good. It's really good. Okay. It's really good. Okay. I want... I just finished reading The Hobbit. How was that? Okay. I feel like you have to be a certain type of person to read books like that. Ugh. Super fantasy. I find it a lot harder to read books about a world that isn't your own. Because, like, if you're reading a book... Like, so fantasy. Yeah. Like, if you're reading a book like The Fault in Our Stars, okay? and they like contemporary. Like, it's about Earth. So if they say yeah. something, I can infer. Because I also, too, live on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can infer based on it. But if it's, like, Middle Earth, like, I don't know what the fuck That's Middle so Earth hard, is like. so hard, especially the first books to fantasy books are yeah. always really hard. Like, I read this... I tried reading this one series called... Fuck, what was it called? It was called, um, I'm going to have to look. Nelly, up. can you lay down, please? Okay, excuse me while I look this okay, up. Okay, just keep like, talking. For example, if they say something in the Fall in Our Stars and they say a city, I can either, A, like, infer where it is and, like, guess based off, like, if they right, 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 say right, to, right. Like, Toulouse, like, I know where the fuck that is, okay? I live uh-huh. in America. I can figure it out. But if then I'm reading The Hobbit and they say, like, Mirkwood... <laughs> Mm-hmm. What the fuck am mm-hmm. I supposed to Mirkwood. like? Mirkwood. Do you know what the fuck Mirkwood is? No. Exactly. Like, so you have to you have to really pay attention. And you also really have to like be able to dwell into it and like yeah. get it. And it also felt like one of those books. Like, if I'm reading a book that I am really, really, really into, the Daughters Smoke and Bone trilogy. <sighs> Daughters a Smoke and Bone. Hmm. That is weird. It's about, like, monsters and stuff. I, I don't know. I've tried reading it a long time ago. I even bought the second book, hoping it would motivate me to read the first, like, finish reading the first one. And I, you know, like, when you read, like, I had, like, a quarter of the book left to read. And I was like, what the fuck has been happening this whole time? Mm-hmm. I hate that. That's why yeah. I can't read fantasy, because I just can't. Those things won't stick with me long mm-hmm. enough. <laughs> and see, that's book. like, like I've never read the the I mean Harry Potter, so I don't know how it's written. But like The Hobbit is written like like I'm reading Old English. Yes. Like it's written like ye and like, like yeah. that kind of stuff. Ye. So I have to like I'll read. See, Dune wasn't like that. Dune was just kind of like I couldn't keep. I couldn't yeah. like comprehend. So like with The Hobbit, I had to like read, and there were certain chapters that I like got what was happening while it was happening. But sometimes I would read it and I'd be like. <laughs> what just happened? Like, for example, spoiler fucking alert if you watched, if you haven't read, the, your ears. if you haven't read The Hobbit and you want to, don't. But like, 
one of the main characters, Thorn. Thorn. Thorin. 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 I don't know how the fuck. Sarah's gonna hate me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. He dies. And I didn't realize he was dead. <laughs> until, oh my god. Until like five minutes after. And then I was like, oh, he died. He's dead. <laughs> like, he died and Bilbo and him were saying goodbye. Like, he was dying. And they were saying goodbye. And then they said that they buried him and I was like, wait! He's dead? <laughs> oh my god. So, like, it's that kind of stuff. Like, it takes me a second to, like... You can unplug your ears now. Or I'm just stupid. That could be it. No, those books are hard to read. Yeah. I thought it was a good book, though. Did you enjoy the story? Yeah. If it was more... I think I will like the movie better than the book. <laughs> because visually, I'm excited to see the visuals of it. Yeah. Also, Kate Blanchett's in it, so... That's exciting. I wish Pirates of the Caribbean was a book. It's mm. not? No. I'm not lying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it's a book. There's not... It's not a book. Pirates of the Caribbean is not a book. Is Pirates of the Caribbean a book? Asks. According to Wikipedia, Ron Gilbert often has said that the Monkey Island computer game series was the inspiration for Pirates of the Caribbean, although he has said that he mainly got his inspiration from Tim Powers' book on Stranger Tides. So no. So no. <laughs> Do you say, like, Caribbean or Caribbean? Pirates of the Caribbean. Caribbean, right? I say Pirates of the Caribbean, but, you, but I'm going to go to the Caribbean. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so why do we say it like that? Because it sounds stupid if you say Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean. If someone said that, I'd be like, what movie is that? <laughs> <laughs> Let's make a completely different franchise <laughs> called Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> and it's like totally like a spoof Can I tell you something that really annoys me? No. So, <laughs> you know how we just discussed like the difference Caribbean, Caribbean? Mm-hmm. Can I say something? So you know how all the Kardashians sure. have a K name? Yeah. And then Caitlyn had to go and the change C. her name with a C? Yeah. Why'd she have to do them so dirty? She couldn't have just kept the trend and kept a K. That's kind she of the had, fucking point. She had to be the out one. <laughs> oh my God. That's the she fucking point, She couldn't just though. join the fucking group. You know, she did She just purpose. couldn't join the melting pot. Yeah, she's that fucking extra. She should have just kept her name and been like Benny or something. Like Beatrice. Fuck off. How dare you? How dare you? I would have been less mad at her if she named herself like Angela. Don't attack Caitlyn. You know what? I appreciate Caitlyn and that she's followed her heart, but I don't appreciate that she ruined the Kardashian name. I think I love it. Like, it just could have used a K. I think I like that she didn't, though. You would be the bitch that did that. <laughs> you would be the bitch that did that. I would not. Yeah, you would. No. Yeah, you would. You know you would. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I want a tattoo. Wow, I'm just like, we're not talking about anything in particular, I'm sorry. This has no substance today. Uh, I'm sorry. The next But podcast, I'm also not. The next podcast is going to have substance. Yeah, oh my god. We actually have been planning the next podcast since before we started podcasting. That's true. Since at least the first podcast, mm-hmm. we were like, oh my god, we should do this. That's happening Oh my god. July 15th. July 15th. Get ready for the podcast. Podcast number five. Get ready for the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so excited for that one. I want to tell them what it is. Should we tell them? <laughs> Should we? Should we tell them? I don't know. Do we want to? Why not? Let's think about the pros and the cons. Okay. Pros. People will come back. <laughs> <laughs> pros. They can be excited. People can get excited and get hyped up. But the, is it so long to wait a whole 15 a whole 15 days. No, because... No, oh, I think we should do it. I almost just, like, spoiled what it was. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> we don't. would have had to tell them. Let's tell them. Okay. Wait, should we? It's not. We're hyping it up. Stop. <laughs> 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 should we tell them? I think we should just tell them. Ready? Should we just tell them? What are we going to say? <laughs> you say it. it. I'll say it. We're doing a... Five words or less. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. We're, We're doing, doing a warmish podcast. We're doing a warmish podcast. We like made it so much lamer. Like we could have just been like, We're doing a warmish podcast and we had to be like, We're doing a warmish podcast. <laughs> Fucking nerds. Fucking nerds. Um, that's fun. 
<laughs> that's gonna be super fun. So basically, who's all gonna be here? It's gonna be you, me, Alex, or also known as Parker. We're gonna have Alyssa slash Fern and Max slash Oliver. We're all gonna sit on this little couch. Uh huh. It can barely fit three comfortably. I think it's gonna be like me, you, Alex, Alyssa, Max. They're gonna sit up here. Yeah. Max is tall. Okay, Max can sit on the. Max. Is- Alex and Alyssa can sit here. Okay. Maybe your torso is shorter than Alex's though. We'll 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 mingle around and we'll make it. We work. can just switch spots like musical chairs. No. <laughs> we can't do that during the podcast because it'll be loud. Maybe I want it to be loud. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want to talk about what we were talking about earlier. So bad. I know, but we can't. But we can't. You want to talk about yours? Every time we podcast, there's always things that we make it sound like we have all these big surprises coming up. But we don't. But we do. But we do. But we always choose to talk about them when we can't talk about I them. Know. We told you about the Warmers podcast. Like, what you, you you can't expect much. There you go. Let's talk about travels. Travels. Max just got home from Japan today. Mm-hmm. He was in Japan. I went and saw him before I went to work. I went to Zoe's house. It's so weird. He was gone for a month in Japan. That's so cool. Fucking Japan. We're going to Chattanooga. Chattanooga. Chattanooga? It's Chattanooga. Chattanooga? Chattanooga? Chattanooga. 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 <laughs> We're going to Chattanooga. It's this place in... Tennessee. Ye old Tennessee. Ye old Tennessee. Come Chattanooga. Ride a chat. train. We're gonna go to an aquarium. Yeah. Ruby Falls. To an, a museum. We're gonna ride a train. Just for funsies. Just for funsies. We're gonna stay in an apartment or Airbnb, Airbnb with a stripper pole. It has a stripper pole and a pool. What else do we need? Honestly. We need to book it soon, though. <laughs> yes. Because if we don't, it's today. gonna get booked. Honestly, today. Do you have enough money in your bank account? Yes. No, not in my bank account. How the fuck else are we going to book it? I don't fucking know. <laughs> exactly. Ugh. We are going to go make an itinerary today, so we know how much. Yeah. We're responsible adults. Yeah. Her mom was yelling at us earlier, mm-hmm. saying, you better be not fucking idiots, okay? Yeah, she's like, y'all better not curse if there's kids around. I was like, you know what? I can't fucking help my fucking mouth if I'm going to fucking say things. We're not going to be stupid. Help it. <laughs> we're not gonna be stupid like no. we're responsible we're like good in public too it's not like we scream and like have orgies on the beach <laughs> what? yeah we do though that's the thing but it's not like we're like obnoxious i don't think i try not to we're politely obnoxious i think i think we're obnoxious to the point to where if we think we're being obnoxious we know we're being too much mm-hmm. we i never thought we were obnoxious no i think we're just laughing we're like normal humans out in public right maybe I'm not sure. But we're going to go to Chattanooga. I have a request. Do you have video blockage? Yeah. Like, you don't know what to make? Mm-hmm. Me too. I never know what the fuck to post, and I feel like the only thing I post are podcasts. You think I don't have video blockage? No. I haven't made a video in, like, seven months. You're going to have two podcasts in a row. I know. That's just because it's what we do. That I need to make something. Yeah. No, I know. That's... That, no, that's what I mean. That mm-hmm. was my point, is that you, like, just have podcasts. That's, like, the only thing you post. I know. I feel like I I need inspiration. I have inspiration. It's, like, I don't know what to make. I don't know what the fuck you guys want to watch. But even if I I think did, we should talk about how Warmish has a million views. We can't talk about that. We can save it for the Warmish podcast. Oh, fuck. I want to talk about it. <laughs> we can't talk about that. I know. We need inspiration. I just want to make good... I want to... I need to, like, get away from everything. Chattanooga. Do you know what I mean? Chattanooga. No, but that's not going to be the, that Wanna trip. Want to go to Turks and Caicos? Go to what? Turks and Caicos? What's that? It's on... on <laughs> <laughs> it's an island. Here, let's look it up. Turks and Caicos. Here's the thing. I Turks feel and like, Caicos. I feel like I... Shh. Got it. I feel like I have been around people nonstop. And I need to, like, go somewhere. Without me? <laughs> Without me. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. Oh, my God. We want to go to Key West. You can't go somewhere without me. Wait, why do you want to go alone? I mean, you like... You want to hang out? I mean, like, I want to go to, like... I'll be quiet. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I want to go, like... 
beach? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now you can go. Let's go. Let's go to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> because I feel like we both just need to get away from our environment and like uh, yeah. sit on the beach for a long time and read yes. and not talk to each other. I feel like I've told you about this, but like whenever I go somewhere like and I have and I am around somewhere I am not normally or I'm not familiar with, I feel like even things that I have been like conjuring in my mind, I feel like I accept them better when I'm somewhere new because mm-hmm. all these new feelings and new thoughts are coming to me and I'm like, oh, okay, so this is like new thing. This fucking scared me. A cat. Cat's so this like new thing that I'm thinking of like feels like I feel more accepting of these mm-hmm. new things I'm thinking. <sighs> We definitely are going to go to the beach. Definitely going to go to Chattanooga. Yep. We should go to North Carolina, Indianapolis. Mm-hmm. We said we wanted to go out of the country, too, but I don't think we will this year. I don't think we're ready for that right now. I think we should just travel all over. Indiana. Where's the first place you want to go to out of country? Paris. Yeah. Paris. Because I feel like we both are on the same wavelength. I, s- I think... The reason I think Paris would be great is because, like... My brain feels like... I feel like it's just really tourist friendly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, Max went to Japan. Mm-hmm. And that's, like... Intense. Culture shock, new world, mm-hmm. like, fucking crazy. I mean, it probably wasn't that crazy. I mean, it was probably... I feel like... You got know, used to it really quick, I'm sure. I feel like we should go to, like, Alaska, because it's, like, totally America, but it's far away. Yeah. Um, Hawaii. Yeah. I want to go to Hawaii. Because that's almost, like, other world. It's, like, 16 hours. Holy shit. I don't know if I made that up or not. <laughs> 16 hours. It's pretty far. Sarah went as far. Sarah's been to Hawaii? Mm-hmm. She got attacked by goose, I think. Oh, what? Um, I have a problem with blockage when it comes to, like, big production, small production. Because, like, all the videos on my channel besides Muse, Warmish, and, like, Warm are all... Just like, those videos. are big production. Like, those are, like, had plan. Most everything else is, like, medium to small production. Yeah. Like, either instant, like, completely spontaneous or, like... Well, so then are you saying you want to... What, what are you say? saying? I'm saying that I have a problem because I can create big production easily. And I, like, get excited about it and I'm, like, ready to work on it and, like, make these huge productions. But I have such a small, like, such a hard time making small productions. Like, making small vlogs and, like, being proud of them. You make small vlogs a lot. I know, but it doesn't mean I like them. That's how I feel. Yeah. Like, I, I have such... I struggle so much with making stuff that's, like, not really, 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 really done up. See, like... Like, just... For an- example, like, Bertie Gilbert is the god at making vlogs. Mm-hmm. And making them seem like they're so much more than they probably really are. Mm-hmm. And I don't know how he does it, but that's all I want to be. Me fucking too. It's so amazing. And I don't want to be that because that's kind of his thing, you know? And I don't want to steal, like, his style. Mm-mm. But the way his mind works and, like, the stuff that he makes is just, like, so captivating. Well, it's like a normal vlog is, like, this fucking cinematic mask. But even his short films. Oh, yeah. Are so captivating. And did you <laughs> see that? That was funny. They're so captivating, and, like, I I just want to... I also have this really toxic idea in my head, though, that if I make, like, if I make a lower-end video, like, just, like, a vlog or, like, something like that, if I make that, if I spend a lot of time on that and I make a really specific idea for it and I make it, like, really, really, really awesome or, like, the best of my ability, I have the problem in my head, which is awful, that I feel like if I do that for all my videos, then my big ones, my big ones, wins. (laughs) My big (laughs) ones, like, warmish, won't be as good. You know? Yeah. So I feel like I have to, like, differentiate between the two. I think you should just make whatever you feel. I don't think we should, I think we should stop putting pressure on ourselves and do whatever the fuck we want. (laughs) I don't know how to do that. (laughs) I think we should go to Chattanooga. Okay, we're doing that. Then what? The beach? Sure. Then what? The cabin? Yeah. I just went to Arkansas. I just got back from Arkansas. What was in Arkansas? Um, there was a cabin in on a river, and I fell off of a dock. <laughs> That's fun. 
It's really aesthetic. <laughs> the bruise. Only we say that. No, look at it. It's blue. Sarah gets really mad at me when I say that. She said, it's not aesthetic. It's a bruise. She said something really smart, and I don't know what she said. I think we should talk about how we want to learn Korean. <gasps> oh. That's good timing. We'll be back with our midnight snack. Oh. So we don't have a midnight snack. Mm-mm. Oh, well. Well, because we weren't even, we didn't have a subs, subs, substance. Substance. Is Sustenance. Good. We want to learn Korean. I want to do too many things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have enough life to live to, to do all the things. Oh, that's <gasps> scary. Why would you say that? <laughs> that stressed me out. Oh, oh, I feel like I have this hole in my heart all of a sudden. I'm sorry I said that. Why would you? That's scary. Now I can't stop thinking. That's kind of what my short film's about. Kind of what my mind is going to be about, but like in a different way. Mm -hmm. Like, just live your life to the fullest. Yeah. Why do we both create short films with the same themes? This is our problem. So we were the same person. Except you have better skin than I do. I really don't. And you have bangs. Don't you fucking pull that fucking bullshit with Good me about your fucking skin that doesn't have a single fucking <laughs> <thing for you. laughs> That's not true. <laughs> ah! Look at my fucking forehead! Fucking Brenda finally got my fucking prescription filled and it's gonna fucking be here tomorrow, so maybe I'll be fucking less ugly. Three months. If you wanna talk about my acne, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I sounded like someone I gotta go in the mafia. <laughs> mafia. Where are you going? I don't know. <laughs> How you want me when you got a girl? Uppercut. That wasn't an uppercut. We've had no energy this whole time, have you noticed? Yeah, we've been so chill. <laughs> I wanna just talk about the thing. What thing? The <laughs> yeah. yeah. I want to say it, but we can't. We can't. I'm making another short film. I'm making... Okay. <laughs> oh my god, Zoe. Okay. I'm making... I kind of just gave it away. Like, people are totally going to know, I think. If they're smart. No. No, 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 no. I... Zoe's in the works of two short films. One that she probably won't make and one that she's going to make because I'm going to make her make it. Which one? Apocalypse. Okay. Apocalypse? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's talk about it. About Apocalypse? Yeah. Okay. I want to make this Apocalypse short film. And it's very possible to make because so mm-hmm. far it seems like it's very doable and like it can happen. Yeah. But like I always do, I don't know how to finish things. And it's not like I have a plot because I don't even have a plot yet really. I have plot points, but I don't know... There's nothing underneath it. No. It's all so surfacey, so still, and I'm still trying to find it's. I'm still trying to find the heart. Okay. You know where you want it to go. You just don't haven't filled no, in the I gaps. No, I don't. I don't even know how I, where I want it to go. Okay. You and s- I'm having I- problems. You have ideas. Yeah. Okay, but it's just like earlier. I have too many ideas in my life. I have like 40 ideas for short films, music videos, what the fuck ever I want to make. And I have two right now that are like big production, like not music video, not anything. They're like big production that I want to make. And we came up with the idea for one and it's like fucking cool and like I want to make it really bad. But then I started coming up, I went to Arkansas and I started coming up with the idea for the other one and it just really started hitting me everywhere and like I can't do things unless I... I can't do big production things unless I feel That's so inspired. That's my problem. The like, thing is, I was inspired once for it, but I can't get it mm-hmm. back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which is why I'm like, okay, people have ideas all the time and abandon them. We need to stop talking about this because this is the last podcast on my channel. We made a video about the creative process. Oh, yeah. I just needed to feel the wall. But I, <clears throat> we started talking. See, this is what I think is going to happen with you because we talked about <sighs> Victoria. I just gave away the name. Oh my god, you did. <laughs> um. Oh. <laughs> oh 
Oops. <laughs> Victoria. So we talked about that, and we I have like the basis for that. But then we started talking about this other one, and it started like entering me, like everything. I was like, this is what, like that's my what my brain. It's your calling right now. It's what my brain wants right now. And then me and Zoe were just upstairs talking about it, and we were talking about the plot, talking about it. And I had an idea for the plot, and every time you talk about it, you come up with something else, and you come mm-hmm. up with the scene. Or I tell Zoe about a scene, and she goes, "Oh, what? What? This would be cool." Like yeah. we feed off of each other, mm-hmm. and we came up with the coolest fucking plot that mm-hmm. we hadn't, that I had not thought of, and that we like fucking. It was like, it was not even the biggest part of it, but it was like the thing that made it, it what it, it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think that's what's gonna happen with you. We just need to talk about it so that I we... I want to talk about it. Want to talk about it right fucking now? We should go in the fucking woods right now and talk about it. Okay, when this podcast is fucking... Should we just end it right now? No. Fucking... Oh, it's we over. had to finish it. Let's just go to the woods and keep it running. <laughs> keep it going. Hey, guys, we're in the woods. <laughs> okay, we're going to be in the woods right now. We're going to talk about the podcast. We're opening our door on the podcast. What? Is it going to... What's it going to be called? What? It's going to be called, um, Crouton? No, okay, this, she has this thing. Uh, since the first day we ever started talking about it, you want the main character's name to be Crouton. I really do, and I don't know why, and I think it means something. <laughs> I don't know what it means. I think you should just let it happen. The main character's name is Sebastian. Sebastian Crouton. No! <laughs> Crudy. Sebastian Crudy. and... She'd be like, Crudy, fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> you can put that in your short now. <laughs> Fine, I'll have Revma be named Crouton. She'll call it Crouton. Who's Revma? Oh, nice going. <laughs> they don't fucking know. Mm-hmm. But I know. <laughs> She's in the short film. <laughs> Sebastian and Lena. Slash Lee. Lee. She goes by Lee. I haven't told her yet, but there's... I need to tell her. She's gonna be in it. She's the same one in mine. I know. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. We should probably let her know. <laughs> well, I've told her about mine. I She thinks she's good. There's this girl. She's going to be in both of our short films. So she doesn't really know it yet. She know, I've talked to her about mine. When? How long ago? Does she know the intensity of it now? I talked to her. She thought she was going to be in my other one like four years ago. <laughs> that I never ended up making. Our small puppies? Yeah. May 9th. That was a long time ago. Was that before Warmish? That was last month. Last month was... January, March, April, May, June. (laughs) May was last month. I was in school last month. Whoa, my brain. Ew, you're in, I feel like you haven't been in school for years. I've been a graduate for so long. I guess not. I've been graduated for so long. Devin, the other day, she was like, do you think Coca-Cola really needs to advertise as much as they do? You know, where like, do they advertise? Everywhere. Like, think about it. Think about all the Coca-Cola commercials you've seen. Do you think that if they dropped all of their money towards advertising, they would still make the same fucking amount of money? People yeah. would still p- drink Coke. Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? They usually... But then they would drop a lot of jobs. That's the problem. Like, a lot of people lose their jobs. They mostly just advertise for, like, those weird summer bottles with the names on them. That's still Coke. I know. Why are they doing new things? They don't have to do new things. Maybe it's brainwashing. Conspiracy theory. Coke is brainwashing us. Why is Coke so good? Why is soda addicting? Do you, are you more like Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Me and my, me and Devin and Madeline were in the hot tub (laughs) and we were talking about what sodas everybody is. They said I'm Coke Zero. That's insulting. You're Coke. I fucking know. You're Coke Cherry Vanilla. I see that's better. Cherry, wait, what am I? Cherry vanilla. Cherry and vanilla? Yeah. Oh my god. They said you were, um, let's see, Madeline was Sprite. She's so so Sprite. Sprite. And Devin, (laughs) Devin is Fanta. 
Orange Fanta. Yeah, Orange Fanta. Yeah. She's so Orange Fanta. But there's, Fanta. like, Purple Fanta, so it's funny that we all said Orange. Yeah, she's Orange, orange Fanta. Orange Fanta. I think they said you were, like, root beer. And I was like, she hates root beer. I hate root beer. She's not root beer. I don't know what you... Oh, Pepsi! Oh, my God, they said you were Pepsi. You're... And I was like... I kind of... I don't know. I guess you're kind of Pepsi. No! I'm the off-brand Coke. <laughs> No, Pepsi is not off-brand Coke. That's I used to gross. only drink Pepsi. That's disgusting. Can I be Mountain Dew or something? <laughs> You're not Mountain Dew. Ew. I don't want Mountain to Mountain Dew is fucking, fucking gross. Can I be like RC Cola? I don't want to be fucking Mountain Dew. Can I be 7-Up? Can I be Mellow Yellow? I don't want to be fucking Pepsi. <laughs> Tell her she's Pepsi. <laughs> I'm super upset by that. I'm not fucking Pepsi. What am I? Still cherry vanilla? Yeah, you're I don't still think cherry, I'm cherry vanilla. Like, you just agreed with it. But 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 I don't really think I am. <laughs> I feel like I'm more like I feel like you're a root beer. I feel like you're a root beer float. Like not the taste of it, but the idea of it. The concept? Yeah. Root beer. Well float. the concept's kinda cute. Yeah. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> but root beer's fucking gross. No, yeah, like look at it, don't taste it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't eat it. Oh god, that's my life. <laughs> Look at it. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't get it near your mouth. <laughs> we were talking about last night what each, what our vaginas taste like or what they are, right? Was that last night? Yeah. I said you were strawberries. And then she was like, you look like lavender. And I said, yeah, like oh, yeah. strawberries. We were, also, <laughs> we were sitting there and we were sitting we were in we, Zoe's bedroom. Yeah, and Sarah. No, Devin, Devin, Devin. Devin was like, Probably like so. First, you were all about the strawberries. You're like, well, we were strawberries. Just, okay, but we were discussing. Okay, we were discussing each other's vaginas, and so we had gone around the room, and Zoe was last, and I was like, you're, I feel like you're like strawberries. Like everyone like, said, no, you said strawberries, and you were about it, and then Devin goes, lavender, and then <laughs> Sarah was like, everyone agreed lavender, and then you go, like strawberries. <laughs> no, but I didn't say, I didn't say strawberries. I was like, yeah, like strawberries. <laughs> Like, I agree. Like, you weren't listening like, the whole time. <laughs> like, I agreed with Devin, but I was like, yeah, like, strawberries. Well, yeah, you were, like, like agreeing. I was you were in agreeing. that mindset. Yeah, like, strawberries. strawberries. <laughs> no. I said Devin was coconut sunscreen. Not the way it tastes, but the way it smells. Yeah, she's so coconut. She's so coconut sunscreen. I said Sarah. Sarah. What did I say she was? Um... I said something really, really nice. I don't remember. Because it was, like, super... I think I remember. I don't remember. I said Devin was honeysuckle slash coconut sunscreen. What did Devin say I was? <sighs> You're, like, mint. Like a mint leaf. Oh! <laughs> I love peppermint! Not peppermint. It's mint. Mint is not peppermint. It's the same. No, it's not. Mint, peppermint. Mint leaves do not taste it's like peppermint. It's just icier. Spearmint. It's just icier. You're mint, not not, <gasps> not a peppermint. Okay. <laughs> no matter how hard you want to be peppermint, you're just not, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I am peppermint. <laughs> if I could be a smell, I would be peppermint. Huh? I want to butt chug peppermint. Yeah, you, you chug peppermint creamer every morning. It... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> peppermint only is Christmas, and I can't eat anything peppermint unless it's December. Like one time you gave you me. You live in wrong. One time I had the peppermint creamer, and I was like, this is not right. And I was like, this is summer. I drink it every morning. How? Do you ever feel like December happens? Do you just run through it? <laughs> Cause no, because like, then, no then I use like lemon. <laughs> That's when I switch it up <laughs> for summer. Oh no. No, or you do extra <laughs> peppermint. Yeah, fucking just pour it out. <laughs> Dash of coffee. No, but I use, pe- I used to use peppermint hair stuff. I use peppermint oils. I use peppermint creamer. I love peppermints. Um, my favorite body wash ever is peppermint soft soap. And one time, someone had it on sale because they have it at Walmart, but it's like limited like edition because it's it's like it's winter. Fucking winter. It's winter, so it's peppermint, and it only comes for like four months. <laughs> And do you stock up? Yeah, and I used to buy it, and I ran out one time, and I only had like one left, and I got really stressed out because I was like not gonna have any more. And someone was selling like eight of them on garage sale. It's soap. Yeah, soap. And I bought, I bought 
like eight of these peppermint body washes and I was stocked up for like a year. I don't have it right now. Now I know what to get you for Christmas. I would be so happy. I have this like weird like white strawberry one right now. I think I like tingling. (laughs) No, I'm not kidding because the peppermint tingles and I have this weird ass white strawberry one that tingles. I think I like tingles. Do you like Pop Rocks? Um, I'm in on my body. Like, uh, like <laughs> when I'm in the shower. Do you on your body? Oh no. We were talking about kinks a couple nights ago. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is a good transition. Would you be in... Just call this the Hobbit slash <laughs> kinks. <laughs> Hobbits and kinks. Hobbits and kinks. Hobbits and kinks. Um, would I be up for putting Pop Rocks on a vagina? On your vagina? Absolutely not. Oh, I thought you were going to stop it. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, that'd be weird. No, because, okay, well, one, it could be dangerous. Could be lethal. What if you get a pop rock up there? Okay, I didn't really mean on your vagina. I just meant on your body. Like on a nip? Well, whatever gets you going. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, okay, well, on your vagina, I feel like it's dangerous because you will, yeah. it's going to be sticky. Yes. Ugh. It's going to get in your vagina. Ugh. Okay, second of all. If you did do it, I feel like it wouldn't be able to take it seriously because they'd like put it in their mouth and then they'd be like, <laughs> and I'd be like, I wouldn't let anyone touch me naked anyways, so I'd have to get oh my to them. God. No, I don't think I could ever. What about chocolate syrup? I'm not into that. I don't think I'd be into it. What about it. pineapples? I hate pineapples. Everything about them can fucking go. Strawberry dipped in chocolate. Rub a little chocolate on your nipple. <laughs> I don't think I'd be into something so messy. Not like edible food, you know? Or whips and chains? Well, flogger? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Okay, me and Zoe and Sarah took a BDSM test. This <laughs> just keeps going. <laughs> we did. <laughs> XX parents don't watch. Yeah, <laughs> please. No. Um, we took a BDSM test, and Sarah is like rope bunny. Like 100%. She's a switch, so she'll switch. be sub and dom. Yeah. 100% rope bunny. Someone probably doesn't know what this means. Sorry. <laughs> Submissive and dominant. Okay. And then, Zoe, you were... You were more dominant than Switch, weren't you? I think I was more Switch. I have a screenshot. Let me just look. What was your number one? Vanilla. Zoe's vanilla. <laughs> vanilla. <laughs> um, my number one was Dom. Dominant, and then a fucking sadist, which I find, I'm also a sadist. I find that kind of insulting because I don't think that's true. I don't like what it's called. Yeah, it's so insulting. I'm offended. Yeah, no, I don't like it because I feel like it makes you seem like you want to hurt people. Where is it? There it is. Okay, so it said I'm 59% vanilla, 59% switch, 56% dominant, and 56% sadist. Yeah. And then the rest is, like, not. The rest still counts, though. Because it says I'm 46% daddy kink. <laughs> I can see it, though. I can see it. Like, you know. Yeah, fuck me, daddy. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> I don't think I'd be into it. I don't think you would until you were there. That's what I would Okay, says. it wouldn't be like you'd have a binky in your mouth. And you'd That's like, different. That's, like, ageist. Yeah, no, you would just be like, yeah, daddy, pound me. <laughs> Ugh, I don't think so. <laughs> um, I don't think I'm a sadist. What's a sadist? You like inflicting pain? Inflicting pain. I don't like that wording. <laughs> Are you offended? I am kind of offended. Me too. What should it rather be called? I don't know. I like to. Because, like, I feel like inflicting pain is, like, you're the only one that wants it. Like, if your partner wants you to, like, fucking smack them. You have to them. be with the right person. If your partner wants you to, like, slap their ass, then that's not, like, inflicting pain negatively. Devin came up with that she was a brat. Yeah. Which means that... Um, you don't... Ab- you're not obedient. It, it means, yeah, you, you don't like to, to be rules. naughty. Yeah. So, like, if you're doing doms, dom sub play and you're the submissive... Yeah, they'll be and you're, like, like, not listening. They'll be like, put your hands behind your back and you don't fucking punished. do it. Yeah, you're like, smack my ass. <laughs> Why do you keep like, voicing it, making it real? Like my sex voice. <laughs> Stop making That's it That's what real. it sounds like when I do the nest. Yeah. <laughs> no. 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 I'm no. the same. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. <laughs> I would. 
too far. Why? <laughs> no, if you saw me, you'd laugh because I'm funny. <laughs> I don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> How many penises could you fit in your mouth? Probably half. <laughs> or half a one. I have the worst gag reflex. Me too. That's why I said only half. Man, you, just, you just be like... <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> you just lick the shaft and like grab the nuts. <laughs> Looking like a popsicle. Would you suck a dick for... Yeah. $20. <laughs> Who's dick? JFK? Like, James for a goat. Sure. <laughs> it's $20? $20. Once you said you'd do anything for 20 bucks. It's pretty sure. <laughs> Would you... Would you suck? Um... I can't think of anyone. Would else. you finger Devin's asshole? <laughs> no. Stop there. Or, <laughs> no. For two million dollars. <laughs> oh my god. Two million dollars. My fingers would be knuckle deep in her asshole. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Shit, Devin. I can't. It's two million bucks. No. Alex? Nah. Not anyone I know. It couldn't be Devin or Alex. Sarah? No. <laughs> Me? <laughs> no. If you didn't do it, I'd be pissed at you. <laughs> I'd be like, don't I'd put your like, fingers in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> this is two million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm only unless you wanted it. Like, I'm not right, going to not consent. consent. Yeah. But it's a fantasy. It's consensual. Two million dollars. I think you should get your nipple pierced. I want to get my nipple pierced. I think you should. This one. Which one? This Left one? one. Yeah. I don't... I wish mine didn't have boobs. So. Go get them cut off. I want to. I want my nipple pierced and I want to do it now. I want to get my tattoo. I'm going to get the one on the back I got of my, my tattoo. Neck. Go do it. This always ends up being the last thing we talk about. Tattoos? Yeah. We did this once before. It's just because we talk about this. I don't know why we thought it was a good idea to talk about the podcast when we talk about the same thing. All we do is talk about the same stuff. That's not true. I don't think we do. We've never talked about me fingering Devin's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Would you? No, I'm not going to ask it. What? It's too much. Ask it. It's like the world's worst question. Ask me. Okay. Hit me. Who's someone that... Okay, let's say you have a boyfriend. Funny. Okay. <laughs> Would you rather have sex with your boyfriend, but he looks like your mom, or your mom, but he looks like your boyfriend? <laughs> so one is your mom, but it doesn't look like it, or one is your mom's body, but it's actually your boyfriend? I need more details. Is it like the head... No, it's like, the, it's like their spirits got switched. Their brains got switched. I don't know. <laughs> so it's like, do you want to fuck your mom physically or your mom mentally? I guess mentally. You would fuck your mom? No. Wait, you would fuck your boyfriend who yeah. looks like your mom? Okay. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. I would fuck your mom that looks like your boyfriend? No, 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 no. You said would I fuck her mentally? Yeah, so, okay, do you want to fuck your mom? I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> this is weird. My it's, mom's probably going to watch this. It's the, it's the, like, if you ever want to ask a question that makes someone feel uncomfortable, that's the question. Like, your mom that looks like your boyfriend, your boyfriend looks like your mom. I don't even think about it. I have a headache. <laughs> what about you? None. None of the above. I refuse to answer. Because it's the worst question in the world. Ew. Would you put your finger in your dog's asshole for $2 million? Yeah. But not Devin's. My dog's, yeah. My dog's. But not Devin's. No. No. Well, that doesn't make any sense. My dog is so fucking cute. And you'd have your finger in his asshole? Well, it's a dog. It's a Devin. Okay. I'm not... Devin's asshole is probably cleaner. 
I don't know. That's a hard question, okay? Remember My dog isn't as coherent. <laughs> Remember? Yeah. Last night we got hot chocolate. Hmm? When we got hot chocolate. We got hot That's going to be making noise, you know, because your toe's on it. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah, we got hot chocolate last night. Yeah. It was a good night. <laughs> this podcast has been the worst podcast we've made. I'm sorry. I'm not. We're sorry. I'm not. Listen, next 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 podcast is going to be really good. Hopefully. No, it is. It's going to be the warmest podcast. Yeah. We just like ran out. We've been really busy lately. We haven't hung out alone in a second. Yeah. Because you've been gone at your aunt's. Yeah. And I went to Arkansas. And then we were like. And then you were working. And we were planning for Chattanooga. Like we've just been doing a lot of stuff. Yeah. It's been a busy couple of weeks. So we're going to. this The next podcast is going to be fucking dope. And then we're going to have like a really good podcast after that. (laughs) Teamwork. Well. Thanks for watching. What a day. Throwing in the old towel. (laughs) (laughs) See you on the flippity flop. F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. N is for anywhere and anytime at all. Down here in the deep blue sea.